Welcome to the heart of northern Kenya, where the Samburu people have lived in harmony with nature for generations. Join us as we explore the rich culture, traditions, and resilient spirit of the Samburu, a community whose identity is deeply intertwined with their land, livestock, and ancient customs. From vibrant beadwork and dynamic dances to the spiritual connection with their deity Nkai, the Samburu have preserved a way of life that has withstood the test of time. Let's dive into the fascinating world of the Samburu people. The Samburu people are a resilient and proud Nilotic ethnic group who inhabit the arid northern regions of Kenya, primarily in Samburu County. Despite their close linguistic and cultural ties to the Maasai, the Samburu have distinct traditions that set them apart. Their lives revolve around a semi-nomadic pastoralist lifestyle, moving frequently in search of water and pasture for their livestock. Livestock, cattle, goats, and sheep are the cornerstone of Samburu society, providing not only food but also serving as symbols of wealth, social status, and familial prosperity. This deep connection to their animals is evident in every aspect of their culture, from their diets to their rituals. In Samburu society, livestock, particularly cattle, are central to their diet. They rely on milk, meat, and occasionally blood, which is consumed during special ceremonies or in times of illness to restore strength. Milk is often fermented for preservation, and it is a staple food in their diet, while meat is reserved for special occasions. Beyond their diet, the Samburu use livestock in trade, dowries, and even as a form of social security in times of hardship. Their homes, known as manyatas, are temporary structures made from sticks, mud, and cow dung, reflecting their nomadic way of life. These huts are designed to be easily dismantled and reassembled as they move with their herds across the rugged landscapes of northern Kenya. One of the most visually striking aspects of Samburu culture is their vibrant clothing and intricate beadwork. Samburu men often wear bright shukas, which are large cloth wraps in colors like red, blue, or black, while women adorn themselves with layers of multicolored beads around their necks and wrists. These beads are not just decorative. They carry deep cultural significance. The colors and patterns in the beadwork convey messages about the wearer's age, marital status, and even their social standing within the community. For instance, a woman's marriage status can often be identified by the size and arrangement of her necklaces. The intricate beadwork is passed down through generations, with mothers teaching their daughters the skills needed to maintain these traditional designs. The symbolism behind the beads is a fascinating aspect of their culture that not only beautifies but also tells stories of lineage and identity. The Samburu people follow a strict age-set system, which is an organized social structure that groups individuals by age and dictates roles and responsibilities. Boys are initiated into manhood through circumcision, an important rite of passage that marks the transition from boyhood to becoming a Moran, or warrior. The Morans are responsible for the protection of the community and their livestock, and they undergo a period of seclusion following circumcision to prepare them for their new roles. Marriage is also a significant event in Samburu life, often arranged by the elders of the family. A bride's family typically receives a dowry of cattle in exchange for her hand in marriage, and the event is celebrated with traditional dances, music, and blessings from the elders. This social system strengthens communal bonds, and ensures that roles are clearly defined within the society. Music and dance are deeply woven into the Samburu way of life, often used to celebrate important events or rites of passage. Their dances, like those of their Maasai cousins, are dynamic displays of strength and unity, particularly among warriors. Men leap into the air in an impressive show of agility during communal dances, while songs, often accompanied by rhythmic chants, celebrate themes such as bravery, love, and the central importance of cattle. Women also have their own distinct dances, which they perform during ceremonies like weddings and other important community gatherings. Music and dance are not only forms of entertainment, but serve as vital expressions of cultural identity, bringing the community together during times of celebration and transition. Religion and spirituality hold a central place in the lives of the Samburu people. They believe in a single deity known as Nkai, who is regarded as the supreme being, controlling all aspects of the universe, including rain, health, and fertility. The Samburu people's survival in the harsh arid lands of northern Kenya is deeply connected to their relationship with Nkai, 
as rain is crucial for the sustenance of their livestock and, by extension, their way of life. When the rains fail, they turn to Nkai with prayers and offerings, seeking divine intervention. Nkai is also believed to protect the community from illness and misfortune, and the Samburu offer thanks for health and well-being through rituals led by elders. Elders play a pivotal role in Samburu spirituality, acting as intermediaries between Nkai and the people, leading prayers and sacrifices at critical moments such as during droughts or before major communal events like cattle drives. This deep spiritual connection reinforces their sense of unity, linking their cultural practices to the environment they depend on for survival. The Samburu story is one of resilience and tradition, balancing their rich heritage with the challenges of a rapidly changing world. Their commitment to preserving their way of life, while adapting to modern realities, is a testament to their strength as a people. As we reflect on their past and present, it is clear that the Samburu are a vital link to the cultural tapestry of Kenya. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed learning about the Samburu, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more stories of incredible cultures from around the world.